Shanti today 26th April 2021 essence of the Murli Baba says sweet children in order to become deities drink nectar and also inspire others to drink it only those who drink nectar become elevated question on what basis do the subjects of the golden age become ready at this time? Answer, those who are impressed by this knowledge and say that it is very good, but neither study it nor make effort, become subjects. To be impressed means to become a subject. In order to become a Sun Dynasty king or queen, Effort is required. Baba says, full attention has to be paid to the study. You can receive a high status if you continue to stay in remembrance and also inspire others to do the same. Song of the Murli You spent the night in sleeping and the day in eating. Om Shanti you children heard in the song that it said their lives were like a diamond and they have now become like a shell. This is common. Even a small child can understand this. Baba explains very easily so that even a small child can understand. Baba says when they relate the story of the true Narayan, even small children sit down to listen. However, whatever they relate in those spiritual gatherings are only stories. Those stories are not knowledge, they are just man-made stories. There is the story of the Gita and the story of the Ramayan. There are many stories. In the scriptures they relate. Baba says there are many different stories in the scriptures they relate. All of them are stories. Can there ever be any benefit in stories? This is the story of the true Narayan. That is the true story to become Narayan from an ordinary human. Baba says by explaining to this story, you change from an ordinary humans into <coughs> Narayan. This is also the story of immortality. You invite people, come, we will tell you the story of immortality so that you can go to the land of immortality. In spite of that, Baba says, in spite of that, no one understands anything. They have been listening to the stories of the scriptures and yet they haven't received anything. They go to the Lakshmi and Narayan temple. Come, let's go there to have glimpse of the idol. Let's go and have glimpse of the Mahatmas. That customs and systems has continued. They continue to bow down to all the rishis and munis etc. who existed in the past. Ask them if they Baba is saying ask them if they know the, the story of the creator and the creation and they reply they don't. And they reply that they don't. You children now understand that Baba is saying you children now understand that this story of the creator and the creation is very easy. It is the story of Alpha and Beta. Although those who come to the exhibitions listen to the story very well, they don't become pure. They believe that the custom and system of indulging in vice is eternal. They go in front of the idols of the deities in the temples and sing, you are completely viceless. Sing, you are completely viceless. Then 
when they come outside they say that it is an eternal system to indulge in vice and they ask how the world continue without it they say even lakshmi and narayan had children they say baba singh they say this and so what can you tell them you cannot equate those with ordinary human beings they these were still human beings they were so happy in the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan baba is telling you children very easy things truly there was heaven here in bharat it used to be the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan there are their images too everyone believes baba is saying that everyone believes that it was their lakshmi and narayan's kingdom in the golden age no one was unhappy there there were completely viceless they were completely viceless big temples have been built to them they existed 5000 years ago they don't exist now it is now the end of the iron age human beings continue to fight and quarrel among themselves god resides up above in the land of nirvana in fact we souls also reside there and we then bhabai singh in fact we souls also reside there and then we come here to play our parts at first we were in the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan there was a lot of happiness and bliss baba is saying there was a lot of happiness and bliss there and then we had to take 84 births the cycle of 84 birth has been remembered we ruled in the sun dynasty for 1250 years there was limitless happiness there people were completely viceless and there were palaces studded with diamonds and jewels we ruled the kingdom and then had to take 84 births the cycle of the world history and geography continues to turn baba says there was happiness for half the cycle we were in the kingdom of rama and then the population of human beings continued to grow in the golden age there were 9 lakhs by the end of the golden age they had grown from 900000 to 20 millions and then there was a lot of happiness and comfort for 12 birds in the silver age there was just the one religion what happened then the kingdom of ravan began look how easily i explain the kingdom of rama and the kingdom of ravan you should also explain to young children in this way what happened then all the big palaces of gold studded with diamonds and jewels went down below in the earthquakes earthquake took place when the people of bharat became vicious and the kingdom of ravan then began baba says from pure everyone became impure they say that golden lanka went down below some things must have remained with which they built temples etc the path of devotion began human beings began to become vicious it then became the kingdom of ravan and their life span decreases from being viceless yogis they became vicious bhogis who indulge in sensual pleasures as were the king and queen so the subjects too became vicious by saying as were the king and queens so the subjects too became vicious this story is so easy if 
the young daughter babai singh if the young daughters relate this story important influential people would be ashamed the father is now sitting here and telling you this he alone is the ocean of knowledge and the purifier then in the copper age you became those who indulged in sensual pleasures and became impure and other religions then began to come into existence baba is saying the intoxication of nectar finished fighting quarreling begin we begin to <coughs> we began to fall in the copper age and we became even more vicious in the iron age we continue to make stone idols of hanuman and ganesha we became those with stone intellect and began to worship stone baba says we believe that god exists in pebbles and stones by our doing all of that the condition of bharat has become like this the father now says renounce poison drink nectar and become pure and claim your kingdom renounce poison and you will change from humans into deities however you don't renounce poison <laughs> baba singh however you don't renounce poison women are bitten so much for poison and troubled so much this baba singh this was why draupadi called out for protection you understand how it is not possible to become deities without drinking nectar ravan doesn't exist in the golden age baba saying you understand how it is not possible to become deities without drinking nectar ravan doesn't exist in the golden age the father says unless you become elevated you cannot go to heaven those who were elevated have now become corrupt you now have to drink nectar and become elevated the father says constantly remember me baba is saying constantly remember me alone have you forgotten the gita i created the gita but they inserted krishna's name who gave lakshmi and narayan their kingdom it must definitely have been god who gave it god taught them raj yoga in their previous birth but krishna's name was inserted baba is saying you should practice explaining this to others it is a very easy story baba is saying it is a very easy story how long did it take baba baba is asking how long did it take baba even in half an hour some are not able to understand such an easy matter this is why the father says just sit and explain this short story to someone take a picture in one hand there is the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan in the golden age and the kingdom of ram and sita in the silver age baba is saying then the kingdom of ravan began in the copper age it is such an easy story we are definitely baba is saying we are definitely deities and then become warriors merchants and sudras now because you don't consider yourself to be deities you call yourself hindus from having an elevated religion and performing elevated action you have become corrupt in your religion and action baba is saying from having an elevated religion and performing elevated action you have become corrupt in your religion and actions if you young daughters sat and gave lectures in this way 
the whole gathering would say inkar inkar baba is speaking to those at all the centers these elder people don't learn anything so teach these little kumaris they are also baba saying there are also the names of kumaris they are very good kumaris in delhi and bombay they are well educated they should become alert they could do so much if the kumaris were to become alert the name would be glorified those baba saying those from wealthy homes hardly have any courage they have intoxication of their wealth once they receive their dowry that's it for them baba is saying when a kumari gets married <coughs> she becomes ugly and has to bow down to everyone therefore the father explains so easily however they don't think about baba is saying however they don't think about becoming those with divine intellects look nowadays even those who haven't studied have become mps or mls member of the legislative assembly look at what they can become by studying this study is very easy you should go and teach others however because they don't follow shrimat they don't even study there are many very good kumaris but they have their own intoxication baba is saying there are many good kumaris but they have their own intoxication when they do a little work they think they have done so much now a lot of work still has to be done nowadays it is kumaris who indulge in a lot of fashion there there is natural beauty in heaven here the adornment is so artificial they spend so much money just for hair dressing that is the form of maya there is the fall of maya the kingdom of ravan and then there is the rise of the kingdom of rama the kingdom of rama is now being established however you should at least make some effort baba is saying what will you become if you don't study when you go there you will become subjects worth a few pennies eminent people of today will become subjects there wealthy people simply say that this is good and become engrossed in their work they become very impressed and then what what will happen eventually they will become subjects there to be impressed means to become a subject those who make effort will go into the kingdom of rama the explanation is very easy the boards of those who maintain the intoxication of this story will go across we will go to the land of peace and then go to the land of happiness that's it you simply have to remember baba and inspire others to do the same only when baba is saying only then will you claim a high status pay attention to your study you should have pictures in your hands when baba used to worship lakshmi and narayan he would have their pictures in his pocket there are many small photos they are also in the lockets baba is saying there are many small photos they are also in the lockets even baba is baba is saying explain those pictures this is baba and you receive your inheritance from him now become pure and remember the father there is so much knowledge in the badge
Baba is saying there is so much knowledge in the badge. It has the whole knowledge. It is very easy to explain this. Claim your inheritance of liberation in life from the Father in a second. Anyone who explains can claim a right to the status of liberation in life. Anyone who explains can claim a status of right to the liberation in life. All the rest will claim a status according to how they study. They will go to heaven. By saying they will go to heaven. They will at least come at the end. The population has to grow. The deity religion is the highest. They, the deities, would be created. Would they not? There will be hundreds of thousands of subjects created. Effort is needed to become part of the Sun dynasty. Only those who do service will claim a high status. Their names are also glorified. Kumarika, Janak, etc. are looking after centers very well. There is no conflict. The father says, see no evil, speak no evil. In spite of that, some continue to say such things. What will such people become? Baba is saying, what will such people become when they go there? They don't even do such easy service. Even little daughters can explain this. They can give knowledge. The army of monkey is very well known. The Sitas who are trapped in the Ravan's jail have to be freed. They have made up so many different stories. Baba is saying, someone should give such lectures. Then they, the Kumaris say, that so and so was very impressed. Ask them, what do you want to become? They just tell others. Their knowledge is very good. However, they themselves don't study, don't understand it. So, what was the benefit? Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharna First point In order to become one with a divine intellect, pay full attention to the study. Study and teach others according to Srimad. Renounce the intoxication of your limited wealth and patience, etc. and engage yourself in this unlimited service. Second point Hear no evil, see no evil, talk no evil. Don't talk about wasteful matters. Don't be impressed by anyone. Tell everyone that short story of becoming a true Narayan. Today's blessing. May you awaken your luck with the light and might of knowledge and become a constant embodiment of success. Baba explains, children who make effort while knowing the beginning, middle and end with the light and might of knowledge definitely achieve success. To achieve success is also a sign of luck. To become knowledgeful is the means of awakening your luck. It isn't just having the knowledge of the creator and the creation. But to be knowledgeful means 
to be an embodiment of knowledge in your every thought words and action you will then become an embodiment of success if you are not able to see success even while making the right effort then you must understand that it is not your failing but a means for you to become more mature and strong slogan be detached while you make your physical organs act and you will easily be able to experience the karma teet stage om shanti om shanti om shanti